Hello guys, today we are going to talk about two things, evaluating variable expression and simplifying variable expressions. Then let me start first explaining what is a variable expression. Then an expression that contains one or more variables is called a variable expression. Okay. And now talking about evaluating expression, evaluating variable expression, let me explain this. Replacing each variable by its value and then simplifying or solve the resulting numerical expression is called evaluating, evaluating a variable expression. Then, conclusion, evaluate a variable expression means replace the value of the variable and then make the operation. Let me show you, to understand this better, some examples. Then, example number one, the instruction is evaluate the expression, let me copy the expression, evaluate the expression x squared minus 3xy when x is equals to 3 and y is equals to negative 4. Then when we have to evaluate variable expressions, we have the expression, that is this one here, and we have also the variable's value, that is this information here. Otherwise, it's not possible to evaluate variables. Then remember, exercise number one, example number one, evaluate the expression x squared minus 3xy when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 4. Then the first thing that we have to do is replace. Then x squared, what is x value? x value is 3. Then 3 squared minus, now 3 is this 3 over here, and now x, y. x is 3, then times x, that is 3, and times y, that is negative 4. Remember, always when we replace a variable, we have to use parentheses. Now, as I told you, operations. Do the operations. Here, we have a combining operation, then we have to start with the exponents. 3 squared is 9, and copy or the operation exactly like it is. Okay, now let's com continue. We have a, a, a subtraction here, but we know that the multiplication is first. Then nine, put it down, minus down. Three times three is nine, and nine times negative four. One more time, operation multiplication is first. Then nine, put it down, minus nine, times negative 4 is negative 36 and now remember that when we have to add then the first number that we have to subtract the first number we have to put in the same way addition change into another uh, subtraction change into an addition and the second number change by its opposite then in this case 30, 36 9 plus 36 is 45 that, that's the answer that's it. Replace values and operate. Let me show you an, a second example. Then instruction, same instruction. Then the instruction is evaluate the expression x squared minus y squared divided by x minus y when x is equal to 3 and y is equals to negative 4. Then first step, replace. Then let's replace. x squared is 3, then 3, use parentheses, squared minus y squared, y is negative 4. Negative 4 squared. Divided by x, that is 3, minus y, that is negative 4. Then let's continue the operation here equals. Uh, solve exponent first, then all of the powers. 3 squared is 9, 9 minus negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. All of this over 3 minus negative 4. Okay, if you want to keep the parentheses, then you can keep the parentheses. Now let's do it. At the top, 9 plus 16. 
9 plus 16, remember, it's a subtraction, then the first number you have to keep in the same way, then let's do it here, 9, change the subtraction into, into an addition, plus, and change the second number by its opposite, negative 16. And in this case, different signs is a subtraction, then absolute value of 9 is 9, absolute value of negative 16 is 16, 16 minus uh, 9 is 7, and you have to put the number, the sign, attach the sign for the number with the greatest absolute value, and in this case is this. Okay, then the answer on the top is negative 7. Let's erase this expression in order to solve the, the a, a, a operation at the top, at the bottom. Then, at the bottom is 3 minus negative 4. One more time, the first number exactly the same, subtraction change into an addition, and 4 change by its opposite. 3 plus 4, obviously, is 7. Then, the answer at the bottom is 7. Let's erase. And now we have the final operation, that is the division, negative 7, divided by 7 is obviously negative 1 because in different signs, different signs in division, the answer is going to be always uh, negative. Okay, that's all about evaluating expressions. Remember, evaluating expression means replace the value of the variables and then make the operations. Now, the next part, simplify variables expression. When we have to simplify variables expressions, then we have to understand some things before. The first thing is the like terms definition, okay? Like term. Then, like terms of a variable expression are terms with the same variable part. In other words, when we say, for example, 2x is one term and the variable is 4x, they are like terms because the variable is the same, x and x. What is not a like term? For example, x squared. x squared is not the same because it's not the same variable. The variable here is x, x, but here is x squared. Change the exponent. That is not a like term. Another example for what is a not a like term? For example, y. Change the variable. x and y are different variables. Then there is no like terms. Now, one more thing that we have to understand is that we have to practice or you have to remember or have to keep in mind some um, math rules that apply uh, in this case, okay? Then let me show you the rules in a moment. Let's start with the first example to provide uh, the, the collecting light terms for now, collecting light terms. Then simplify, the instruction is simplify the following variable expression. Okay, and the variable expression is 3x plus 4y minus 5 minus 10x plus 7y. Okay, simplify this expression. Then simplify this expression means collect the like terms. Then we have to identify first the like terms. Like term here. This is a like term with this. And let me change the color. 4y is a like term with 7y. Remember, what, what does it mean, like terms? Like terms means that we are using and we are talking about exactly the same variable. x and x, y and y. Then let's be focused first in the uh, black uh, like terms, okay? 3x minus 10x. Then 3 minus 10 is negative 7, okay? Then negative 7, negative 7 what? x because the variable is x. That expression, that um, addition, or in this case to be exact, this subtraction is what collecting like terms mean. Now the second like term, the second like term is 4y plus 7y. 4y plus 7y is positive 11y. That's it. Then we collect the next like terms. Guys, when you are collecting light terms, remember you have to be focused in the same variables and add the numbers for that expression, okay? Uh, or subtract, in this case, add or subtract. There is no more possibilities. Then this is the answer for simplifying the original expression. That's it. 
Let's analyze a second example. Example number two says, simplify the following um, uh, simplify the following uh, variable expression. Then it's negative three times negative four, uh, five a plus seven b plus seven b. Okay. Then in this case, inside of the brackets, because that's the first operation that we have to do, is not possible add. And the reason is really simple. The reason is because in this case we have no like terms. Here is A and here is B. If we have not, like term is not going to be possible add them. Then if it's not possible add, then the first operation that is inside of the parentheses, we can do it. But we can use a math strategy to solve a little bit more this exercise. Then we have to use something that in math we call distributive property. The distributive property is used to remove parentheses from a variable expression and consists in multiply the term, the term added to uh, outside of the parentheses by each term inside. Then negative three times negative five a. Then we have to multiply the coefficients or the numbers. Negative three times negative five is positive 15 and just add the letter a. Okay, then one more time, we have to multiply the number outside of the parentheses by each term inside of the parentheses. Then three, negative three times negative five a. That is negative and negative is positive because it's same signs, then 15 and just add the variable expression that in this case is a. Exactly the same now with the second term. The second term inside the parentheses is 7b. Then negative 3 times 7b. Negative 3 and 7 different signs, then the answer is going to be negative. Put the negative sign here. And 3 times 7 is 21. Then minus 21 and add letter B. That's it. That's all. That is what we call distributive property. Because it's not possible to add the expression inside of the brackets, then we apply distributive property. Okay? Let me show you one more example where we can practice this rule. One more time. Simplify following a variable expression then 4 times x minus y minus 2 times negative 3x plus 6y then one more time inside of the bracket is not possible add the expression here and in here is not possible why is not possible because they are not like terms we are not talking about the same variable Okay, then in this case, when it's not possible to solve the operation inside of the brackets, we have to apply the distributive property. The distributive property is used to remove parentheses from the variable expression. Then remember, 4 times x, 4 times x is 4x, because it's not possible. We don't know what is the x value. Then 4 times x is 4x. And now 4 times negative y is negative for y. We can do it. Then you, we have just to copy the multiplication indicated. And now in the second part, negative 2 times negative 3x. Negative and negative in multiplication is always positive. And 2 times 3 is 6. And obviously you have to add letter x. And now one more time, negative 2 times positive 6y. Different signs in multiplication is minus, then put the minus, and two times, two, uh, two times six is 12, and of course you have to add the letter y. Now we have to collect like terms. Remember, collecting like terms is add the coefficients with the expression or terms with the same variable. Then let's identify the same variable. Here, the variable is x. The next one is 4y y is not x, then it's not a like term. The next one is 6x, then it's a like term because it's x one more time. And the last one is negative 12, y is not the same. Then in here, the like terms are 4x and 6x, both of them positive, then we have to add them. 
4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, then one more time. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10y, ten 10x. Ten Thanks what? 10x. Now, the second like terms. y here and y here. In here is 4y, negative 4y, and here negative 12y. Okay, then let's add them. Negative 4 minus 12y, then we have to add them because it's with the same sign, and the answer is going to be negative 16. Negative 16y, ne negative 16 what? Negative 16y, because it's the letter. Then the answer, the final answer is going to be 10x minus 16y. Guys, this is simplify variable expressions. Make difference between simplify and evaluate. Evaluate, you have to replace the variable's value. But when we have to simplify, we don't know what is the, variable, what is the variable's value, what is the value of the variables. In that case, we have to collect like terms and apply distributive property depending on the case. Guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much.